Hey you guys, today we're going to talk about complementary colors in art. So this is a picture of the color wheel. And last week we talked about warm and cool colors. The warm colors are on the right and the cool colors are on the left. So we're going to talk about complementary colors. So what are the complementary colors? We talked about warm and cool colors, but complementary colors are the colors that are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. So if you look back at the color wheel, you can see the opposite colors. Those are the complementary ones. So these are some pairs, red and green. Blue and orange. and yellow and purple. So now let's get into making some artwork. So today we're gonna draw a portrait. A portrait is a drawing of yourself. So the first thing you're gonna need is just a pencil and I'm drawing it with a marker just to show you guys. So the first shape I drew was an oval and that's for my head. I drew two lines coming down to show the neck and then a V to show my neckline of my shirt and then two sort of hunched lines to show the shoulders. I'm gonna draw my nose and my mouth. And feel free to pause this video at any time, guys, if it goes too fast for you. I'm going to do some oval shapes for my eyes. Don't forget your eyebrows. A lot of people forget your eyebrows. Eyebrows and ears, I notice a lot of people forget. Those are my eyebrows. Now I'm drawing my eye. And remember to draw the inside of your eye, your pupil, so that you can, it gives it more dimension, I think, but it also just makes it look more realistic. And you can add details like eyelashes and stuff like that. So what I want you to be thinking about during this video is a pair of complementary colors because this is not going to be a regular self-portrait. This is actually going to be a self-portrait using only complementary colors, so only using two colors. So I want you to pick a pair of complementary colors, either the ones in the video that I showed you or you could do um, another pair, which is fine. But you're going to use those colors to, to color in your whole portrait. So I'm just adding my hair right now. And actually, my favorite colors are orange and blue. So those are going to be the complementary colors that I use in my picture. I'm drawing my ears. Like I said, don't forget your ears. I'm just drawing the rest of my hair. And remember guys to do this in pencil first and then you can go in with a black marker and then outline everything. That way if you make a mistake you can always erase it. So now I got out my two colors, orange and blue, and I'm going to start coloring in my hair. So when I color it in I actually use markers and I use crayons. I think it makes it look really nice and you can kind of do different shades with the crayons. I like the look of the markers because it's very vibrant and bright but also you can do different shades when you use crayons. I'm gonna make my eyes blue. My lips are gonna be blue. Now I don't have blue lipstick 
I don't wear blue lipstick, and I definitely don't have orange hair. So it doesn't matter. These are just, it's supposed to be a complimentary color portrait. It's not supposed to be realistic. And I'm going to use my orange crayon to lightly just color that orange onto my face. Like I said, I, I am not orange. <laughs> but it's not meant to be realistic. If you wanted, you could actually do the opposite. If you wanted to do an or orange lips and a blue face, you could do that too. It's totally up to you. And I also put some of that orange crayon in my hair too. And then don't forget your neck. So now I'm going to use my marker and I'm actually just going to outline my shirt with the blue marker. You can do this however you want, and you can add, like, maybe you want to add the pattern on your shirt, maybe you want to add the logo on your shirt. But just remember, two colors, the two complementary colors that you picked. So now I'm going to color it in with my blue crayon. And I'm actually just going to add some blue into the hair just to fill in some of those white spaces that I missed and give it a little bit more dimension. Now we're going to do the background. So I'm actually using a ruler. You don't have to do this. I'm using a ruler to divide um, like the two different colors because I'm going to use the two different colors in the background so because my shirt is blue on the bottom part of the background I'm going to color it in orange and I'm actually just going to do some lines and then I'm going to go in with the crayon as well and then for the top part I'm going to do blue to complement that orange color so guys when you think about complementary colors just think about like a compliment it's something that makes something else look good. So look look at the colors. Blue complements orange. They just look good together. So that's that's like how I like to think of complementary colors. It complements it. So now I'm doing my blue at the top. Now I'm going to use my crayon and fill in those spaces. And this is cool too because it gives it kind
Jones and there you have it. Your complimentary colored self portrait. Make sure you send me your work guys. Take care. We'll see you next time.